A program called Fire Ops 101 is giving lawmakers a chance to become firefighters for a day to help them better understand the resources needed to save lives. Gear for just one firefighter, $4,000. The self-contained breathing apparatus is another $6,000. An aerial truck is about $800,000. An engine, $450,000. All totaled, the fire budget for IFD this year alone is $148 million. RTV 6's Julie Persley suited up to show how Fire Ops 101 helps decision makers when it comes to issues that could impact you and your family. Gear and manpower can make the difference between life and death during an emergency. Wow, these are really heavy. That's why I suited up with lawmakers from around Marion County to find out what it's like when first responders are called into action. It's familiarization with us in the fire service and the EMS world that it, it takes equipment, it takes manpower, it takes full staffing and commitment from everybody involved to be able to do our job. Y'all ready? Ready? Group two, group two, group two. Feel the heat, Fire Ops 101 allows state, city, and county lawmakers to become firefighters and medics for a day. The goal, helping them better understand what's needed when responding to fires, car crashes, and medical calls. Okay, go this way. My first assignment, the live burn. This is a thermal imaging camera. The firefighters can use it to see exactly how hot it is inside of the burning room. We were put to the test at the Lawrence Fire Department's training facility, just like real recruits. The minute you go inside of the room, you can immediately feel the heat once you're crawling in. And that is when you have to hit the nozzle. We were able to see and feel how the equipment works when facing temperatures over 800 degrees. Let's keep in communication with each other. During the search and rescue, we had to crawl through a dark, smoke-filled two-story building. Okay, where's the law? Blinded by smoke, we had to rely on our breathing apparatus and feel our way to find the victim. Okay, I found something. What does it feel like? Feels like a person. We had to drag a life-sized mannequin that weighed as much as an adult out of the building to safety. One of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. I had no idea what these guys go through, and it was like one-tenth of what they would really go through in a real fire, so it's pretty intimidating. Then we were put to the test on the aerial ladder, using equipment firefighters rely on every day. I understand why they ask if you're afraid of heights when you do this. They say normally a firefighter with a fully extended ladder could climb about 100 feet. This is only about 40. And you cannot look down. Climbing, even for just one day in their boots, gives decision makers a new perspective when budget time rolls around and requests come in for new equipment. It enables them to see uh, exactly what we go through, uh, exactly what we need. I think it's important that we make sure that our firefighters have the best equipment to do their jobs. That includes tools like the jaws of life used when rescuing people trapped in wreckage after a crash. We had to use crowbars and we had grippers and all kinds of tools and every car is different. Every situation is different. It's amazing what they go through. And in the heel, one hand goes on the steering and the other hand goes on top. And we're going to compress. As trainees, we had to work with medics during a cardiac arrest simulation. First responders say having the right equipment at their fingertips makes them more effective. If we're safe, we can do our job. We're going to be able to do our job better for the community. They say that could help them save even more lives when every second counts. Julie Persley, RTV6. What a great up close and personal look. Thank you, Julie. The extrication equipment is also very expensive. A light extrication team set of equipment, including jaws of life or spreaders, cutter, and power unit, runs about $18,000 to $25,000. Heavy extrication equipment costs $50,000 or more. Since five townships merged into IFD, they brought with them different equipment. Next year, IFD is preparing to request funding to begin streaming equipment so all firefighters will be familiar with it no matter where they respond as they work to save lives.